everybody, Princess Bear here, and we're back at Fort Wilderness Campgrounds because Hoop Dee Doo Review reopened yesterday. We are so excited. Yes, so we're back to get a bit of that Hoop Dee Doo vibes and food. And you know what? I get strawberry shortcake. She's been talking about this for months. I'm so excited for strawberry shortcake. We're dedicating this video to the Foolish Morgans. They couldn't be here with us, but they're here in spirit. She made my dress. It's a Hoop Dee Doo. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Uh, you're gonna get a vegan platter okay. with all of your sides on it, and then a vegan strawberry shortcake for dessert. Yes, that's it. As far as vegetarians, uh, cornbread is fine for you, salad is fine for you, the beans, mashed potatoes, and, and macaroni and cheese are fine for you. Um, however, you will get uh, the same platter she will for proteins, and then the strawberry shortcake is fine for you. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Just one ticket, right? You all take that and get it. She's going to ring this bell for me. Everybody! Right this way. Come with me. How are you? Good. We're happy to be here. This is the first thing. His was like it was another level. <laughs> I got the sangria. The wet, red and the white sangria are vegan. The wines here are not. The beers are as well. And then the additional um, mixed drink and some of the beers are also vegan as well. But I started with sangria and I'll stick with sangria. It is box. It is taste. Bo it does taste box. It is available on multiple locations around Disney World. I'm gonna drink it and I'm gonna see how many I can because it's all you care to enjoy. Two and a half out of five sangrias. I love that uh, they took the theme. We actually drink out of Mason jars in front of the house with no shame. If we're having a morning drink, it's probably in a Mason jar. And I won't say go so far as to say that it came out of a box. I will go so far as to say that it came out of a bag that's in a box. Two and a half out of five bucks. Bear got a giddy up. I wanted a giddy up, but it's not included in the all you care to drink. It's an additional, so I let him fall on that sword. Oh, it's very good. I like the sweet and the tangy of it, but I also really like Arnold Palmer's. So it's like right up my alley. I would give this a four out of five on a promise. You know my weakness is for anything with an adult liquid with lemonade. Uh, if it's been made lemonade, I'm gonna be upset. But until then, bottoms up. Wow. It's so good at making a mess of myself. It's a proper amount of tart. I prefer tart to sweet lemonade any other week. This thing is strong. I wish it was included. I'm probably gonna have one. Maybe. Four and a half out of five bucks. I got my own vegan cornbread loaf before everyone else, and it comes with earth balanced butter, but I'm just gonna take a little piece here. Reminds me of a Victoria and Albert's loaf. Quite good. Beautiful loaf. Beautifully made. I'm gonna give it um, four and a half out of five cornbreads. It's pretty good. We do like a nice brick of cornbread. You're gonna give it to us. You give it to some brick. This is a personal sized portion of cornbread. I don't care what you say. I literally want to eat it like a hot dog, but I'm gonna refrain from that. I'm still gonna eat it like a bear. Even though we have friends that work there now, it is still better than the Boathouse Cornbread. Three and a half out of five plus. I've got my own dressing that I'm adding to this beautiful salad. And because
because I'm a lonely vegan. I'm just going to be a bear and put my fork right in the salad. a much better salad than salads of the past. Four and a half out of five salads. The dressing, is, it's like a tangy Italian with like a little mustard to it. It's right up my alley, that is really good. I'm gonna go ham on the salad. Learn from the princess, she's throwing the inside and work until we work way out. She's all debutante trained where I'm a bear. Oh. Some tons of what looks like iceberg lettuce, some cucumbers and tomatoes. Not mad at that. Let's fork it all. Still missing cucumber. There we go. Probably more of a mouthful than I need. But either way. Be quite good. Got some chop. The dressing's good. Got a nice tang to it. That's good rabbit food. Three and a half out of five bucks. All right, Yankman. I got a slaw with no um, mayo, which I guess is fine. It's just, you know, slaw pieces. You might as well just throw this in the salad. Oh, it actually has like a nice little like chili oil or something, but not a spicy chili, just like a enough to give it like a little bit of flavor, just some sort of flavored oil. I like the salad more, but I really like this. And I expected it to just be like undressed veggies, so that's a surprise. I will give it... a three out of five coleslaw. For somebody that doesn't like mayo, this is perfect. I love your continued dedication to the classic cast iron skill of Disney. I love Colts. This almost feels like a joke. It's slaw, it's not cold. One and a five. Here we have the non-plant-based salad with a healthy dose of the chez. Got a little tomato. It's nice and pre-dressed, so you don't get to pour your dressing on this one. Plum's already served. Got the same veggies. The only dish is really the, the dressing and the cheese. Let's see how it stands up. She's adds nothing. And I want to welcome all of you here to Pioneer Hall. Three out of five plus. There we have actual holes. A nice pile of mayo, soaked lettuce, and carrots. Nice. Scoop a little help in here. Serve family style, of course. And I feel like a full family.
Yes. Sure hope we haven't kept you. But we were held over from our previous engagement. And yeah. then the stagecoach broke down. You know how those stagecoaches... Oh, you don't have to be so long-winded, Miss Laura. We got a show to do. Hey, Casey, fire up that arc. Yeah! yeah. Musicians, if you please. <laughs> sight for sore eyes. Well, yep, and in his case, the sore, the better. Well, look who's talking. Now. Now, I had the idea for the show a while back, and Dolly joined up real quick. That's right, Jim, because every show needs a shining star. Yeah, instead we got a dim bulb. <laughs> oh, well, then we got lucky and we found Johnny and Claire in Chicago. It was awful we were stranded and have a job. Yeah, but we did We were between engagements, as they say. And then the lovely Miss Flora came along. And we've been making beautiful music. That's right. Wait, wait, wait. What about me? What about me? Oh, uh, yeah. And then there's six bits. But well, he sort of just kind of. Tags you know. along after me. Oh, Dolly, don't go getting your hopes up. Oh, six bits. Look, you want me to tell these folks how we really found you? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Nick? You're out of town. Dolly. Well, I'm playing this hotel. Dolly, 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 Dolly. 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 Well, then maybe you ought to see things my way. Well, maybe you ought to mind. I, 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 I. Oh, you ought to take my arm. That's better. Great. Bye. So you folks see, we come from all over the country, and I'm sure you have too. Well, I bet there's folks here from every state. That's right, Jim, and some from overseas. <gasps> yeah, like Canada. <laughs> Claire. Come on, let's find out where everybody's from. Dolly, Claire. Dolly, thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Hoopty Doo. 
you go by. Oh, they come from the Mediterranean. Exquisite mashed potatoes. Four 
five bucks. Then we have the cheesiest of mac and cheeses with a nice little bread crumb crumble on top. Cornbread. I'm gonna take a nice spoonful, although I'm not gonna eat this whole spoonful because uh, I need to make it through the rest of this review. And not just the hoop review, review, but the food review. I didn't remember Magic Bell. So a little bit of mac and cheese, or a lot of bit for me. A little cornbread crumble. That looks on the board. Look how pretty that is. That's the only bite that I'm gonna have. I can't have any more. Even with two magic pills, more than that will hurt me. But it's almost worth it. Five out of five cost. Cornbread crumble mac and cheese is my new way of life, even if it'll kill me. So we get fried chicken and ribs. Contrary to my opinion, I don't love fried chicken. It's not like I can't love it. It's just that if it's anywhere like greasy or the bread's too thick. Uh, I, I, I'm very picky about my fried chicken. Let's put it that way. I know that I hate fried chicken. It's gotta be good fried chicken. For the ancestors. Honestly, it's a pretty good showing. Breading is seasoned. Chicken is juicy. It's not greasy. Three and a half out of five. So you have nice, delicious, thick pieces of ribs. Nice and meaty, well cooked, got a little crust on it. Well seasoned. And then if you make it look pretty, let's hope it tastes pretty. Not too smoky. The skin tastes really good. Meats. I hear on the dry side. It can use some barbecue sauce, honestly. The ribs can use a little bit of barbecue sauce. They're not bad. I've definitely had worse ABC commissary. But, yes, this is still an ABC commissary hate channel. The only place that I hate more than ABC commissary is obviously Catal in Disneyland, in downtown Disney. So, the bar is low. Thank you. Two and a half out of five plus. We have a lot of beautiful things here. I'm gonna start with this jackfruit, that I hope is better than Trails End. That's small on top. Mm. Oh yeah. Way better than Trails End. I'll put a link to that one in the description box down below. It's got some interesting flavors to it. I feel like those flavors haven't fully come together in the jackfruit, but it's it's got potential, so I'm sure that in the future it'll probably be much better. I'll give it a three out of five jackfruit. Throw the jackfruit. Nice and chunky little song top. Much more tender than your cat. Deep and smoky, better has a birthday today. Yeah. So today, Three, June 24th. Next, uh, I guess I'll go with this Beyond Sausage here. This is the most undercooked Beyond Sausage I've ever seen. With, like the sauce on it. Probably has like a marinara. <laughs> and they season the sausage. Which is the bomb. It's got a nice little kick to it. I would give like a four to five Beyond sausage. It's just probably one of the better Beyond sausage flavors that I've had in a while. Next up, we have this uh, Beyond sausage. Miss Clay, we're living right under the shelf over here. I know you're just meeting these five folks. What are we celebrating? Hey, Duran, this is a birthday today, absolutely. And what's your name? Would you like a good sausage? This is John. John, where? It may not look pretty, but it tastes better than most of y'all. You a little spice. I got three out of ten in the spice Down and Drew on the other side of the house. Like what are we celebrating, dog? Four out of five. Uh, this I feel like these whole potatoes. I'm shocked at these. It reminds me of Haleo. I see some Earth Balance butter, which I have on the table. It's awesome. 
not too salty, perfectly cooked, absolutely amazing. Potatoes are four and a half out of five potatoes. The nice half potato. And he is serving mm. Consistency. Right Three and a half. Now these um, beans here reminds me very much of like the Plaza Magic Kingdom chili, but with less things in it. But it's barbecue baking, and they're very delicious. I love a barbecue taste to them. Four and a half out of five beans. We have the beans. I wish the tomato pieces in here were a little bit small. Right. My friends, if there are no more birthdays, then let's all sing happy birthday to our new friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy I'm gonna go with this cauliflower here. This is a big piece of cauliflower, but I'm excited for this. Mm. Nice and smoky, a little salty, a little too salty for my taste. I'd probably give you a cauliflower like a three out of five cauliflower. We do like a good roasted cauliflower. This looks beautiful. Restaurants and Disney can learn about how well this is roasted. All right, folks, so well, if there are no more wedding anniversaries or engagements, so let's that's the real freedom of life. Let me call you Four and a half out of five bucks. Pick up this corn. You can't go wrong with the corn. I would say it just needs some good balanced butter, which, again, I can add later. Average corn. Quite a five corn. So there's nothing special about it. Oh, it's so I like a good cute. corn on the top. I think we should be split in half. Really. It's a bit Randy long. Randy and Steven, and where are y'all from? From Texas, mm. and they are celebrating, if I'm reading this correctly, their three year anniversary. Nothing done wrong. Oh, yeah, the fire. Yeah. 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 Well, lastly, we have the Reese's Pieces. Pieces. Oh, yeah. Pieces. 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 Pie
y'all loosen up your belts. Yep, you loosen up whatever's abiding you. And just let it all hang out. Yep, oh, all right. that's all right. All right, now that you've all had dinner, I hope we save some room for dessert because we've got something real special. Oh, and speaking of something special, folks, the Pioneer Hall players are proud to present the finest song and dance team this side of the Mississippi, Miss Claire Galoon and Mr. Johnny Ringo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miss Claire, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Uh, before you and Johnny do your routine for the folks out there, would you show me how you do them fancy feet steps? Six minutes? I would love to. You just watch me, okay? Okay. My love, perhaps you should get First. Woo! <laughs> you put your right foot in. Okay. You put your right foot out. Wow, yeah. Love that. <laughs> you put your right foot in. All about you do the hokey pokey, then you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Both hands coming in, up and down, up and in, shake all up. You don't think it turns around. That's what it's all about. Yeah, Jim, I'd like to turn now. All right. Oh, why don't you um? Why don't you put in your hip? My hip. Oh no, I couldn't possibly put on my hip. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Y'all want to see Dolly put her hip in, right? No. Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Alright, I'm going to! Yeah, you put your right hip in. Oh, you put your right hip in. That's my good side. <laughs> you put your right hip in. <laughs> kids. <laughs> you punch your backside out. It was me. Oh. <laughs> you punch your backside in and you shake it all about. <laughs> you uh, do the hokey pokey, you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Everything. Woo! Everything in, everything
You can lean on me, Miss Claire. Uh huh. She said, short of breath, not short of help. Come oh. on. Okay. <laughs> goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye, Dolly. Goodbye, Six Bits. Goodbye, Claire. Say goodbye, Claire. Goodbye, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> Oh boy, that Johnny and Claire, they sure do some fancy dancing, don't they? Yeah, they sure do. Yeah, yeah. You know, I used to be a dancer just like that. Oh, really? Yeah, I had to give it up. I had so many rabid fans chasing after me. I had to keep them all hidden. Oh, I'm thinking about the kind of rabid fans that be chasing after you. Oh, yeah. I keep them all hidden, too. <laughs> Dolly Drew, you're always chasing after me, trying to get me to marry you. Oh, marry you? Why, six with smoke them out? Take it easy, I got a week back. Oh, when'd you get that? About a week back. Oh, no, no. Hey, no, I'm serious. I, I hurt myself dancing at my sister's wedding. She married an Irishman. Oh, really? No, O'Reilly. Oh, en enough of the foolishness. All right, folks, it is time for the real pretty part of our show. Goodbye. <laughs> right now, we have our very own Flora and Jim, accompanied by Jack B. Bimble on the banjo out in the center of the house, and they're going to sing you some mighty pretty songs. Let's give them a hand.
fits. What are you doing? Celebrating the butter. Hey buddy, it's, uh, it's, it's Clementine, not Valentine. I messed up! Yep. Oh, she done <laughs> to the water. <laughs> Swim. Help, help! I'm a drowning! Blah, 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 That was so good! So I lost my Clementine. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. You were lost in the forever at the sorry Frankenstein. Listen here, scouts. Heed the warning of this tragic tale of mine. Six minutes, you make some decent points. Jim doesn't know how to have fun. He's making this song a representational restoration. Could have saved Clementine. Oh, oh my darling, darling, oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. You were lost in one forever. And sorry, porcupine. <laughs> here comes the real How oh, I miss her. <laughs> How I miss her. Curtain smell. <laughs> That's what you do for fun, smell curtains? I don't know. Like <laughs> Alright. How I miss my Clementine. Alright folks, it's time to get ready for the big spectacle. 
to Holly, wait, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, I was wondering, maybe I could sing a song now. No, Six Bits, you nearly ruined the last number. No, Dolly, hold on. I know this one. Oh, but Six Bits, honey, you can't sing. Well, how do you know you ain't quit talking long enough to hear me? Oh, I don't know. Folks, you want to hear Six Bits sing a song? Oh. All right, I guess we do have some time to kill before the big spectacle. We might as well kill it good. <laughs> but don't expect this to pay you no mind. We got work to do. That's fine. You go work. I'll say. Right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Dolly? I'm working. Would you come here a minute, please? There's people out there giggling at me. Hey, uh, if you could lend a half an ear to my song, I would appreciate any help you could give me. I mean, hey, who knows? You might like singing. So, uh, <laughs> probably want to keep it in the show. Oh, all right, Six Bits, I will listen. You just get on out there and sing. All right, uh, musicians, uh, beautiful dreamer, key of R. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Lower, lower. Starlight and the drugs are waiting for me. Don't hold back, just let it go. Sounds on the world, heard of the day. Faster, faster, you're too slow. I love it the most way. I beat you. <laughs> Beautiful dreamer. All right, take it back up to the top. Beautiful dreamer. Pick up the left side. Queen of my soul. Pick up the right side. Bless while I woo thee. No, pick up both sides. <laughs> Soft <Softly. laughs> Okay, I meant to do that. A gone to the cares of a life's busy throng. Wiggle it all the way down to the bottom. Wake <laughs> unto me. <laughs> Great, now take it back up to the tippy top. Be it is a dream, I know they come to Thank you. hurt myself. Yeah, you nearly hurt me too. That was some of the worst singing I ever heard. <laughs> How do you know you can't sing? I can too. You can too not. Can too too and I'll show you. Come here, professor. Would you play me one of them new dads, would you please? Hey! Stop. Stop. <laughs> Dolly, please stop. You sound just like a jackass calling to its mate. <laughs> Right off now, didn't you? <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I, I'm not gonna stand here and argue with you, but I do know one thing for sure. I'll bet on it. And what's that? I'll bet you my half of the audience from this line right here over there can sing louder and better than your side. Oh, well, would you listen to the donkey bray? I bet you that all my friends on this side can sing louder and better than them there over there. What do you say? <laughs> like Winnie says. <laughs> I say we can sing twice as loud as her side. What do y'all say? A bunch of big mouths, huh? Well, there is really only one way to settle this. How's that? You put your money where your mouth is. We have us a singing contest. You're on, musicians, if you please, please. Ready? Ready. Let me see if you can sing. La, la, let me see if you can sing. La, la. Let me You gotta sing out. Ready? Let me see if you can sing. La la la. Muscle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my side, hold up your hands like this, because we are going to clap them. Let me see if you can clap. Let me see if you can clap. Let me see if you can clap. We can shut this movie track. Come on, y'all clap. Y'all are a bunch of train sales. Or, or, or. My side, we're going to go choo-choo like a train. Let me hear you get 
What are you doing? I have got to hear that table too. Short. 
well. They've been selected for four very special reasons. Number one, being on the basis of... Talent! Talent, that's right. Number two, on the basis of... Charisma! Charisma. Number three... Bravery. Yes, bravery. And number four, on the basis of... Intelligence. That's right. Take it out, folks, and musicians are fanfare. House in Pocatello. Oh, six bits, come on now. Nope. Oh, I'll be right there. The Pioneer Hall players are privileged and proud to present a presentation of such preponderance and purity. Six bits. Hey, we're ready. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm coming. Uh, a purposeful pantomime of pomp, <laughs> pageantry, and pathos pertaining to a person of the past and the present. Come on, uh, six bits. We're ready. Oh, sorry, Miss Claire. That's okay. <laughs> the Ballad of Davy Crockett. <laughs> around in my bare skin. Wait a minute, hold it, cut! Folks, it looks like Davy's in trouble. Let's bring on Davy's friend, his trusty wilderness scout. Oh, please do! And action! about a hand for our wilderness scout. Teddy, I can't seem to remember. Oh. No, 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 Dave. Watch and learn. Let me get my bearings. Yeah. See, Homer, that's the cue. You gotta drop it when I say bearings. It's really funny. Oh, Claire, you're on. to sing. Tenor? No, baritone! Oh. All right, 
Teddy. Any more of them bad bear jokes and you'll end up like one of your relatives. <laughs> Mama! Oh, Dave, how could you do that to my next of skin? Ah, uh, that's it. I'm leaving. Yeah, me too. Wait a minute, Miss Oakley. Teddy and I, we've got ourselves a dancing act. Let's see it. That's it, Teddy. Take it back. All right. I said, hold it! Got it. What do you think you're doing? Barefooting. <laughs> this is supposed to be a can can dance, not a can can dance. <laughs> Bring out the can can dancer! Hey! Let's see if you can dance. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Hit it! Put your dress down now. <laughs> well, that was great. That'll just make my Wild West show. I don't know. I thought the act was kind of grisly. <laughs> whoever she wants, and that's me. No, that's me. No. That's my tilt table!
folks. Well, for each and every one of our participants, we have an award for bravery for going above and beyond the call of duty for helping us make this the best pageant ever. Yeah! Now we have Luke and Connor here. They were our Texas Rangers. Now, Luke and Connor, we're going to do something very special for you, all right, friends? We're going to make you honorary Pioneer Hall players. Now, that gives you every right and privilege that we have. And yeah, don't get too excited. We don't have any, all right? <laughs> Take it out, Luke and Connor. Let's hear it for our trusty wilderness scout, Sean. Our lovely can't can dancer, Leah. And last but not least, the star of our show, Davies Angel, Tom.
big strawberry shortcake. Last time we came here, they didn't have a vegan strawberry shortcake. So, I'm just gonna dig in. Get it all. No, this is a dessert. I want to savor. It's so good. It's one of my favorite like buffet desserts that I've had. I think of any Disney property. I go to five out of five. And princess and so much. Base and hearty pork cake. This cake ain't too short. It's pretty tall. Plenty of strawberry syrup and plant-based whipped cream. Definitely not short enough flavor. Four and a half out of five. Massive, with this massive, typically shareable portion of cake. All for bear. Who doesn't like desserts? Like you trying desserts. And I love you guys and gals. And these and them. And otherwise. I'm taking it strawberry. I'm a bear, I've earned it. They're the same. They taste the same. The consistency of the, the whipped cream is a little bit different. It's not bad. I don't like cake, but I like this cake. Four and a half to five plus. Give a slight edge of the plant based. Oddly enough. Another super fun, super packed Scooby review. I think, um, though, I feel I felt like the meal was a little bit rushed. I really appreciate the fact that there are way more vegan options than there used to be in the you past. Got a full platter. And I'm here for the strawberry shortcake. Oh, uh, you definitely gotta eat, eat, and, eat and watch. Eat, eat and, watch. And, and eat fast because even like, you know, we got, we love to do the whole like, how many drinks can you get when you do unlimited drinks? I got three. That is not worth it. But it was a fun time. I think the show is worth it. But the show is amazing. If you've never the been to Hoopty. It's is amazing. You gotta go to Hoopty. Even if you watch this video, I think it's time to come. Definitely. I approve. I think more than worth it, more than worth the trip. 100%. Come out here to Fort Little Miss yes, yes, yes. Campground and definitely go 100%. watch Hoopty Review. So, until then, I don't know what you guys think of Hoopty Review. Let us know in the comments. Is there anything else you miss show wise or any other show you like to see or on Walt Disney or otherwise? It's going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And if you don't comment, well, this here is the wildest restaurant in the wilderness. So Bear won't go again. You heard the girl. Two bottles of water. Two bottles of water would be $7, but we're not quite open yet. Just give us a few minutes and we'll get those for you. I just noticed that my dressing is over there.